in terms of the results of the study presented today, um, among those 18 patients, it appeared as if nivolumab was well tolerated and feasible. None of the patients were delayed in going to surgery. Um, we did not see any unusual safety signals. Um, in particular, we know that some patients with metastatic lung cancer experienced pneumonitis or lung inflammation with treatment with nivolumab. We did not see that in the early stage um, setting so far. We were able to, we had some exploratory endpoints in the study which were looking at um, the um, degree of, of uh, and response in the tumor um, pathologically to nivolumab treatment. In that setting, we used a method which had been described previously for, uh, for measuring response in a tumor to neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Using that method, um, seven of the 18 patients had major pathological responses to, um, to nivolumab treatment. All of those specimens were characterized by a lot of inflammation and um, um, immune cell infiltration into the tumor and fairly significant regression of the tumor. In terms of radiologic response, we saw that 22% of patients had um, resist responses after two doses of nivolumab. We're doing a number of correlative analysis, looking at immunohistochemical changes with nivolumab treatment, and also um, examining whether the, um, um, the tumor uh, mutation profile uh, may predict response in early stage disease, which is something, um, uh, some data uh, um, seems to suggest in metastatic disease it does, so we're examining that in early stage disease. And ultimately, we plan to perform flow cytometry analysis on the live um, immune cells which have infiltrated the, the, the tumor and which we were able to isolate. Um, the study is expanding at Johns Hopkins and Memorial Sloan Kettering, so we hope to, to enroll more patients um, to a slightly longer course of treatment.